jump, jump. Hey, 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 go, 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 go. take an opportunity to thank our sponsors for today and that's pocket broker pocket broker is an online trading platform that offers safe reliable and profitable trading experience so if you're someone who wants to make extra cash i will leave the link on my on the description below go and sign up and use my code razon to get 60 percent bonus on your first deposit let me show you how it works before you start you can choose to open a demo account just to like learn how it's done you can either listen to the introduction video which will teach you how to trade or just start immediately i will skip the intro um you will come to time and select the time this is automatic trading but you can also choose to input your own time so i'll choose 15 seconds and then i'll come here and choose the amount i want to trade so i will choose maybe 20 and then i'll look at the graph and see how it's flowing um in my Prediction, I think it will go lower. So I will choose a, the graph will go lower. And then we'll just start trading. And unfortunately, I can see that the graph is going up. So it seems I might I might be able I might be losing, but then again, it's going down. We have four seconds. So we oh I won! I won, I won, I won. I made um $18, so that will be added to my bonus account. Once you feel like you're comfortable with your skills for trading, then you can now sign up and also don't forget again to use my code to get 60% bonus on your first deposit. Enjoy! Hey guys, it's a new week and this week we are starting by a solo date with Coco. I'm just walking around Nairobi doing <laughs> tours of different different playgrounds and play areas that kids can play. I like the one that i did last week which was valley arcade because it's free you just go there you sit you pay 500 the kids will draw do a lot of games like it's you know free and it's also close to my area um so that's actually my favorite but i've also gone to we've also been to um the one at it's called under the sea the one at two um wait what is, under the sea, I think you guys know that's where we celebrated Taita's birthday, and it was also really, really nice. It's my first time coming to Westgate, and um, so far I'm really impressed by how clean and nice it is. Let me just show you around in case you've never been here. Maybe you can consider bringing your kids here. Jump, jump, jump! Hey, 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 go, 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 go. Where is it? Yeah. What's the color of the ball? Black. Look again, what color is it? Black. Is that black? No, it's blue. Blue, yes. Where are you going, Coco? Yeah, I'm going to go. Okay, show me. How do we go? Okay. What? Uh
We had chicken in. We want to get some food and then probably go home. Baby girl is sleeping. You miss mommy? Yeah. But I'm here with you. You can't miss me when I'm here. Yeah. Good morning guys, today is the 9th and it's International Women's Day and uh, we have been invited to this amazing event. I'm seeing a lot of businesses here, so Jenny was also invited, Corazon was invited but Jenny was also invited. So right now I'm here in the capacity of Jenny as the CEO and we are just doing our setup. Before this I was in the gym, I wasn't able to show you, I woke up at 5.30, went to the gym, worked out. I want to do my setup and then after the setup I think I'll go back home. Um stay do some other stuff and then you know get dolled up, changed up because we have a gala dinner later in the evening. It's just a women's event, so I see like all the companies that are here. I see Uncover, I see Vivo, I see other corporates I see in national media it's just like a lot of companies and here is the Echo Bank booth so I'm seeing UNHCR women and then I see another um, I don't know where but I'll show you later and then pass finished our setup <laughs> I'm not sure if I should go home or I should just wait it out a little bit <laughs> I don't know I feel like going to the restaurant and having breakfast and then maybe I'll sit here till midday and then leave go do my makeup dress up and then come back but meanwhile let me show you guys what we have here <laughs> Yes, that's where the gala dinner will be. I'm back um, in the morning we came we set up um, I left my representative then I went back home because I had a lot of things to do one of those things was sleep I really needed to sleep so I slept I hung out with the kids they went um, with the other with their dad and now I'm back here the theme was African so of course I'm wearing one of my fits my favorite African fits and um, I just wanted to say something before I go in Genio, actually, I, I don't know if you guys have seen all the brands that are here. These like big brands, and one of the brands that is here is Genio Active. We actually have our teardrop banner. We are we've been invited. Like basically, we are sitting. We are we have a seat at the table now. I am so honored and I'm, I feel so blessed. Like from starting this brand in my bedroom in Imaradaima four years ago to now being able to be recognized by big brands such as Ecobank and TV and all this, like to be sitting in the same table with these 
big huge brands it's just a, an honor and I, I really i actually can't even believe it so if you're a client of genuine if you've ever bought anything from me if you supported me in any way or supported us in any way i am truly grateful and you know it's time to 2024 is the year when that we take genuine to the next level i am so i'm almost crying i did my own makeup so it's very delicate so let me gather myself and let's go see what's up Baby 
We are finally here. This is how the place looks. Kuna mavitu vitu kukwanza ina. When I was young, I used to be scared of at this turkeys. When this gym turkey is red, nani mefa red? Aki these things used to terrorize us as kids. Wa? Sai kuja, I will kick your ass. I'm older now. They used to terrorize us as kids. Ukiva red na ogopo na kimbia. I swear the last time I saw Daki I was a kid and I was so scared of them. This is me face to face. <laughs> Do whatever you want, I'm not scared of you. This is part of conquering my ears. <laughs> I can use this one. Na indio la penda kwa sababu kala inani inani furaisha. Hey, na kam ni ram. Ata ni bullet. Have you seen bullets? Let me go. So guys, uh, I am here, first time getting onto a horse, and I'm not scared at all, yeah, I'm telling myself that. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay, but then what? Oh, okay. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm actually doing this alone <laughs> oh my god i did it this is so much fun kidogo kidogo mtaniona na hizo mikolo club nikikimbia kimbia na mahoste ngoja tu We have gotten to the S where the SGR passes up and by the SGR in Akita. It's such a beautiful view. I've really enjoyed doing this. I'm trying to tell my trainer and you finish up the a lucky attack. But what at me for the I'm really really happy to have done this. Or experience has been booked by Simba Travels. 
I'm going to put their information below. So be sure to check them out and you know, book something, something. They have trips outside Nairobi and they also have little little experiences within Nairobi and actually everywhere. So yeah. Hey guys, so how we're going to end this week is by doing a simple meal prep. Um, Tete recently joined kindergarten. He graduated from playgroup to kindergarten, now that he's three. And um, in the school where he is, they usually carry snacks. I've had a very big challenge just finding what to, to put in his lunch box because, because we don't really like him. In my house, we don't really cook, you know, become a chocolate mini, we eat very basic meals. Breakfast is usually eggs and bread, lunch is probably ugali and some stew, or rice and some stew, or chapati and some stew, just basic Kenyan, or viazi, this and this and that. But so sir, you know, for lunch box here at Toto, um, I know a lot of kids carry like sausages, burgers, all this fancy fancy stuff, which we don't eat in our house as much just because we prefer not to eat processed foods uh, but you know he ends up usually going with yogurt and fruit or bread or chapati just I feel like his last book is really is really basic so I have decided to make some meals maybe for the next four days today is um, today is Monday so for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday I want to prepare meals ahead of time so that he can just be carrying them I don't know if they can last so long but I just want to, you know, make some meals so that I can get that out of the way for this week and then next week we can figure out what he can have so today what I want to make is I want to make pizza I want to make some mini burgers I want to make some carrot chips and uh, yeah, I think that's all so pizza, burgers, carrots and maybe french fries but I'm not sure yet so what I have here is I have ungayangano, some yeast, I have some sugar and some salt that's for pizza and then I have this chicken, I have oregano, black pepper, those are my go-to spices for today I have this very soft um, burger patties that I got to make for vegetables, I have carrots, tomatoes, onions um, I have this garlic by the way all the vegetables and the meat were sourced by Nairobi shopper so if you go on Instagram and be Nairobi shopper you can get this um, peeled garlic so that it's always easy to just make a paste and, and store or just cook while you like it's easy you can see media garlic mistake then I have um, I have some mozzarella here so I don't think it will be enough but there's more in the fridge um, what else? Um, that's it. But also, the the guest of honor for my video is this. Ta da! It's a kitchen special. It's like a puree maker, or and also it makes minced meat and purees. So this is what I'm going to use majority of my video, and I also got this from Nairobi Shopper. I think it's like around four thousand baht. So check it out. To go to sleep. Bye bye. Bye bye. What's that making sound? Yeah. It's a car. There are cars passing. We're near the road. Can you go to sleep now? Okay, tell me bye. I'm scared. You're scared of what? Tata, stop pretending. You're scared of monster. Can I tell you what I'm going to do to the monster? Let me show you. I'm going to do it like mommy, like this. I'm going to do it. Huh? Make it into a bullet. Throw it in the toilet. So go and sleep now. Bye bye. Oh! Go to sleep. Bye bye. You don't want water. Go to sleep. No, you don't. Go to sleep. <sighs> Let me start by fixing myself a drink because <laughs> cooking is not something that comes naturally for me. 
so I have to at least entertain myself with some music and some something something to just keep me going while I cook. We're going to start by making the pizza dough. So in here I've put um, flour, some salt, some sugar, some oil, some vegetable oil, and um, some yeast because you know it needs to rise. So yeah. So we have to make it to the My ancestors are telling me. My ancestors are telling me the yeast wasn't enough. I don't know. Because I don't measure. Let's just add a little bit. Then we'll use some more water and let it sit for a while. I'll have to try to get by dye. I just need this until I feel like it's really soft. About maybe three minutes. By the way, for anyone who needs to know, this is a bicep um, exercise. Any exercise, they are bicep. Oh, not easy. The consistency needs to be like a chapati consistency. So something a little hard, not too soft, come on, my So okay, that to your unga. and let it sit for some time as we prepare other things. I don't make noise. Huh? You want to sleep? So I don't make noise? Okay, I'm sorry. So currently I'm making garlic paste and I'm also I'm still using the Mr. Steel um, grinder that I got from Nairobi Bishop. I think I've already said that I want to do that again. But yeah, I'm making garlic paste. I showed you the garlic, so I just put all the uh, the peeled garlic in here and then it's making a paste. Afterwards, I'm going to put it into a Tupperware to just save it and keep it fresh for up to six months. Sorry about that, it was a blackout. But luckily, it's not in the Ooh, the paste is ready! That's how it looks. So easy. So, right now, I'm going to put it in a container and it's going to stay there for a while, stay fresh. You don't need to buy those expensive Nyanisa supermarket and Yata would be Nini Just buy the garlic, make it yourself. So the reason why I made the paste is quite random sana is because because I want to use some of the paste to make the sauce for for the pizza. So that's why I made it. I decided to just make all of it. I just needed a little bit. I'll put the rest in this Tupperware, also from Nairobi Shopper, and then keep it in the fridge for whatever time. <laughs>
this is what's left in the container and I'm going to leave it in here because it's what I'm, I'm going to just add tomato and other stuff in here and then, then make the pizza sauce. Maybe let me add a little bit. So now I'm making my pizza sauce. But they're always saying in all my cooking videos that I'm not a chef. So msiko ba comments in kini correct. Mimi as long as my kids love it and it's edible. Then it's good enough. This thing to a blend. I have a blend. I thought I have one of the most expensive blenders in the market. Um, but I prefer this because I feel like since ni unayeka nandani alafu unatoa vitu, then this container remains. It's easy to clean and maintain. Like nikazi rice. Blender sa zingine kabla wendu kondani kwa the blades kui clean. It's so hard. So I prefer this for sure. This is how my puree looks like. I like to put it in the pan, gum gum, but that's just blend. I guess we're going back to the drawing board. Ready to start cooking now. Now it's time to make our burger patties. So 
Uh, I'm going to use the egg. I'm going to use this and some salt. Oh, yeah, and breadcrumbs. Nilinunua <laughs> here. It's one week expired, but I've never opened it. So I know it's good. I know it's good because I never opened it. Usually, when you open, that's when they expire faster. And it's just a sell by date. So if I smell it and I see that there's no molds, I'm gonna use it. Mmm, yeah, it smells fresh. You see me It's just a week, guys.
So the rest of the paste, I'm going to save it. I'll use it tomorrow to cook something else. I'm going to save it in my Tupperware. So I got my chicken there to have everywhere. Just put it as much as you want. The bagger is cooking. I usually cook it on low heat just to make sure I'm packing that in the even and then I cover. Yeah, I cover it low heat just to make sure it cooks very, very well. No one wants to eat raw pink chicken. I'm going to give you some breadcrumbs. I'm going to give you some breadcrumbs. No, no, no. I buy butter patties in the supermarket. This is strange. If you do, I'll eat a kulika for you. Wow. I love it more so it's a kulika the next day. Well, anyway. <laughs> For my assistant, <laughs> the one recording the video. Well, it's actually not bad. But, but let's test it and see if it's actually good. When I keep touching my hair and I have to wash my hands. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, let me stop joking. See, it has to be crispy. The bottom, right? A better knife. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good because of the crust. 
Did you for some reason it makes so crispy? Mmm. <laughs> guys I keep saying that this is my year the year of fasts that's that's my the tagline for this year 2024 this is the year where I want to do everything that I've always wanted to do and for some reason I haven't gotten to do just simple little things so in this video I rode a house for the first time and I did really amazing it led to the level of even galloping is it galloping horseback even if galloping whatever even galloping so that was my first time also in the last video I went to Hell's Gate, which was my first time. So I have a lot of fasts. And today in this video, I, in this segment again, I cooked pizza for the first time ever in my life. And it came out amazing. I also cooked um, a burger party from scratch for the first time in my life. And it came out amazing. I'm not someone who really loves to cook, but um, having kids has made me become a bit more passionate about cooking and learning things that my kids like. So when I find that they like something, like um, recently we made uh, popsicles, so when I find that they like something, I try to like make it at home, make it with them, just to see their faces light up and that really makes me happy. And with that, we come to the end of the vlog. Remember to like, share, subscribe and thank you guys. <laughs>